Hey guys, um, I'm here with another concert review. I'm going to start my I don't know how many part series on Austin City Limits 2011. Um, I unfortunately was unable to get a three day pass, so I was only able to attend Saturday and Sunday, but I had a blast. It was my first official festival I've seen um, before I, I had seen Abandoned Hyde Park in London. And it was about the same atmosphere, only there was only one stage. So, I'm going to start off with a band called Graffiti Six. Um, this is a fan I got, and because it was really hot. Um, they're from London. I actually really do not know that much about them. Um, I still haven't looked them up. How, um, but, they are from England. They replaced the vaccines, because... They had to drop out due to the singer's voice, who, they're one of my absolute favorite bands right now. Um, their sound was really good. I don't really specifically remember any of the songs that they played, which, in my opinion, is a very bad thing, because you want to be memorable, you want to make an impression. Um, however, I went with a 30-year-old woman. Um, She's not really a woman to me. I don't know. I love her. Anyways, she has more of a older taste in music, and so she adored them. She stalks them on Facebook. She listens to all their music. And their album actually isn't out in the U.S. yet. It's only out in the U.K., so you're going to have to wait a little bit for that. But um, I think they're pretty good, especially if you are like an older sound. Um, definitely look them up. The singer was adorable, he was so cute. I remember he had a white t-shirt and sunglasses on. But I don't really remember anything that they played. Um, yeah. So, the other band I'm going to talk about is Fleet Foxes. And I actually have their second full-length album. It's called Helplessness Blues. I bought it due to the fact that I was going to go see them. And the inside looks like this. And it has, oh, and the back looks like that. It has a picture. These are all the lyrics. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them because they're very tiny. Then the um, CD comes out like this, and it has, it looks like that. It's very bright, which I think is ironic due to the fact that they have a very, very slow, high sound. Sorry, I dropped the CD there. Um, the album, I don't know what this is called, the book, I guess, is actually a huge full cover like poster of the album artwork and let's see if I can unfold this here for you guys. It's ginormous. It looks sort of like that. Oh no I just messed it up. And on the back it has who they'd like to think. So yeah. Um it was actually really funny because Christian Bale was filming a movie. Um on the set, and everyone kept taking pictures of him instead of paying attention to Fleet Foxes, which really, if you're going to a music festival, you're going to see the band, not some random superstar, even if he is Batman. I don't think he deserved that much um, attention and distraction from the band. I think that's kind of disrespectful. Um, the band was, they were good, they were nice about it, they made a joke about it, but it was still kind of really... And they even did it later for Arcade Fire, which I'll talk about later. Anyways, um, I really enjoyed their, um, just their whole atmosphere of the concert. It was very, like, pull out a joint and start smoking drugs, which I didn't enjoy that. But they're all, it's very slow, and if this is a concert, if you want to go to a concert and go crazy, jump up and down, go insane... This is not a concert to go to, but they, the singer, I don't know his name, has an amazing voice. He has the highest range, he has so much power and emotion in his voice that you can't help but listen when you're there and be excited and sing along if you know the words and pretend you do if you don't, and they were really good. They played um, most of their songs off their album that I have, the second one, Helplessness Blues. Um, they, they're all interest. They're all like the way I want a guy to look. They were kind of 
gr grungy, but I don't know how to explain it. I just thought they were all hot. They all had beards and messy hair and... Uh. Anyways, um, they all were very talented musicians. The music was fantastic. The crowd loved it. Um, I had a girl behind me who had waited all day just to see them. And I would definitely go see them again. They put on a great show. The singer was very open about speak. He spoke. He made jokes about Christian Bale being there and taking away their attention. He was excited about being in Texas, and it was fabulous. So, definitely go see Fleet Foxes. Go see Graffiti 6 if you're into an older sound. And have a fabulous day. Thank you for watching.